Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some World of Tanks. Today's video is going to be on the VK-168. I managed to get this tank while preparing to do the last World of Tanks video you may have seen on my channel on the uh, Waffentrager event that they had. I bought a pack to get some of the uh, keys to be able to play the Waffentrager and then I opened up those like 10 boxes and I got a tier 8 premium for like nine dollars so uh, <laughs> I'm all uh, I'm all smiles over that but that's not what this specific video is about we're not really talking about the tank we're not talking about how I play in the video although it's a pretty decent game and I'm liking the tank although I'm still getting the hang of it so uh, if you guys have any tips for how to play this tank I'm assuming it plays similar to the mouse or the VK 101 but just let me know in the comments but what we're going to be talking about today is something that if you watch another YouTuber by the name of Klaus Kellerman, you may already be familiar with. And that is his theory of a dollars per minute algorithm, as he calls it. Now, what does that mean? Well, essentially, what he believes is that if an enemy team or your team, which, whichever team, is losing significantly compared to the enemy team, like let's say my team was up 10 kills and the enemy team only had five tanks remaining so it's a 10 v 5 essentially then our team basically is going to win there's nothing that the enemy team can do because the algorithm flips a switch and makes it so that their shots are gonna miss our shots are gonna laser beam right in and you know I was watching his video talking about the topic and I'll, I'll leave the link in the description it's a, it's a pretty entertaining video to, he, he's a very funny person to watch and I enjoy his videos but I hadn't really thought anything of it I was just sort of like eh, you know I can kind of see it but this game it gave me pause for thought because well, well we'll get to that as it goes on so so far I haven't really accomplished very much I managed to land one decent hit in on the 7032 that poked up here and now I'm kind of just trying to duke it out in the heavy tank lane over here on Fisherman's Bay but if you stick around you'll you'll see what I mean and I'll, I'll be sure to point it out so right now I'm just trying to you know engage this Lerva but there's no way I'm gonna pen him at that angle this gun is mediocre unless you start loading the gold which it's not bad, like I said, I'm still getting the hang of it, but it's okay. I'm not loving it, I'm not hating it. But uh, I push up here, trying to get out of the line of fire, and then I go, eh, you know, I'm a super heavy. I'm just kind of trying not to bump my teammates mainly. So I get up here, using the uh, pretty decent spotting range that the German tanks get, and I can spot the AMX. Managed to slap a shot into his lower plate. I love the alpha damage on these German heavies, it just feels very, very nice to get a good hit like that and just shave off a chunk of health. I was hoping the Lerva would push out, but he doesn't seem too keen on uh, getting a triple slap by me and the fellow lads over here. And we're coming up on the first moment that sort of, the, the moment that kind of flipped the switch of me thinking about what he was saying, because as you can see, uh, we're about to roll over to five against two with that shot. Now, if it had just been that, this video wouldn't have been made. I, I'm not gonna say, oh, I got an ammo wreck. Clearly the dollars per minute algorithm is legit. No, that, that could have just been luck. But I mean, regardless, an ammo wreck against 7032 feels good, man. So I'm pushing up now. We're obviously able to steamroll with the force that we have over here. So I'm gonna push up and just try to do as much damage as I can in support of my team. And you know, I'm kind of thinking like, uh, yeah, uh, this is when I was remembering the video and kind of thinking, oh yeah, you know, we're winning six against three and I managed to get an ammo wreck on the move like that. That's a little, a little weird, but pardon my driving here. I'm pushing up. I figure, all right, this P44, I'll uh, put a shot in against the Lerva, put him as a one shot. I end up getting the kill. Bounce the IS-2. I push forward to block the 110 from getting shot and... I end up getting splashed by the artillery. Fun stuff. Now I'm just kind of face hugging this guy. I'm able to actually shoot down into his roof. Nothing too crazy here. I kind of keep pushing him, then I stop. Let the team take the kill. The reload on this tank is definitely the thing that I dislike about it the most. And now we're coming up on the second moment. And this is the moment where I really was like, hold on. And I was kind of doing a test here. And a perfect hit. 
And what I mean by a test is I was sort of like, oh yeah, the Barask is up there. Let's test out his little dollars per minute algorithm idea here. I'm just gonna take a shot at this guy. Basically just firing into the wind and it was a direct hit into a full, fully moving Barask while I was moving. And I was kind of, you know, a little, eh, all right. I just kind of got lucky there. There's one more thing that's gonna happen in this video though. So stay tuned. Now I'm pushing up and I was kind of pushing up purposefully putting myself in the line of fire. I knew I was gonna take hits, but I'm a German super heavy. And if that shot had hit, I, I, would, I would just instantly be all signed on for uh, his algorithm, but no, I, that was a miss. But I was pushing up, just hoping that the enemy tanks would shoot me and basically get themselves spotted. I was just using myself as basically a decoy. This shot, fully aimed, you know, goes into his optics and does literally nothing. And I figure, well, I'm not really going to accomplish much more this game, but I can try. I'll keep pushing. I ended up getting invited to a platoon by a Grumpy Gorilla, so shout out to you. He did a very, very good job this game, and uh, I was very impressed with uh, the fact that we both did quite well. But I joined his platoon because, you know, we can get a Brothers in Arms medal for this. And coming up right there, that is what really set me off thinking about it. Two ammo racks in one game? It's a little bit weird, I gotta say. I don't know if you guys agree. Let me know in the comments if you do. But, uh, yeah, Klaus, if you uh, happen to see this video, um, if you've got... I, I don't usually put on the tinfoil hat for stuff like this, but, like, I gotta say, you're making a believer out of me after games like that. But let's go ahead and take a real quick look at the post-game stats and uh, then I'll let you guys go. So as you can see, that was only a second class mastery badge. Like I said, this wasn't really that crazy of a game, but I mean, I got 113,000 silver and a Brothers in Arms medal. So it really is not a bad game at all. I ended up getting second on the team right after the CS52 who had an absolutely stellar game. Like I said, shout out to you, Grumpy Gorilla. Very, very well played. Glad to have had you on the team. And uh, yeah, 92,736 credit profit. I was pretty happy with that. And uh, like I said, leave your uh, leave what you think about the dollars per minute algorithm in the comments, as well as any tips that you might have for the VK168. I am actually very interested to hear what you guys have to say because I want to do well in this tank and uh, any little tidbits of knowledge that you might have could help me. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and... Uh, Keep your eyes out for that algorithm and let me know what you uh let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one.